What's up guys, so uh, today I want to do a video response to Israel Pacheco 89. He made a video a couple of days ago uh, called Fake YouTubers, where he basically talks about a couple of things. Uh, the first one being how uh, Gamester81 kind of gives him like the wrong vibe. Uh, he mentions that he kind of sounds like... like uh, he kind of sounds like he's reading off Wikipedia Wikipedia whenever Gamester81 does a video. And that, you know, uh, it bothers him that Gamester81 tries to make money of the game he made about himself and uh, about the website that he has, basically. So, my opinions on this. I think that when you make a YouTube video, you have two choices, or you can take two different paths. You can either go script, you basically write down everything you're going to say, you already know what you're going to say, and when you're on camera, you're basically reading off a checklist. The other side, or the other path, you can improvise. You can just think everything out of your head and you can, you know, you can just... You can just... What do you call it? You can just... You can just... Make the video right there and then, basically. The problem is that with both of them comes a couple of bad things. When you script a video There is the chance of you sounding off as you, as if you're just reading off a page in front of you. While as when you improvise, you make the mistake that I make all the time. If you look at any of my videos, you're always going to hear me say, um, um, uh, it's just something that I can't help. But since I'm just thinking off the top of my head, and I'm probably not really good at improvising, since I'm doing it right there on the spot, you're going to hear a lot of ums, a lot of stuttering sometimes, you know, it's, you're, you're going to hear me uh, kind of, like right now, I'm having trouble trying to get my words together, but once they do, they come out, you know, genuine. While, uh, again, if you're written of something, you're just like... I think those are both different ends and I think um, you know you gotta work to get it right down the middle you know you gotta you gotta probably write down a couple things that you gotta say but I think you gotta you know it's all about balancing I don't think Gamester81 can be uh, you know labeled as something uh, for all I know is he's been around for years uh, and from what I can see is that he has like five different YouTube accounts and I don't think somebody that is in it just for the money or I think that somebody that is just you know for the for the what do you call it for the for the subscribers I don't think somebody's gonna have five channels out there all very good channels. I I seriously don't think Gamester eighty one is someone that can be called like a, a a poser or a fake. You know, that man is a walking Wikipedia basically. If you see any of any of the Game Chasers episodes. Um, Billy and Jay, sometimes they call up Gamester81 because they don't know of a certain item that Gamester81, you know, throws them a whole bunch of facts and tells them how much this stuff is and the history behind it and all of this stuff. So really, you know, if, if, if the guy, you know, was to be a fake, which is, you know, labeling somebody, judging somebody just by their YouTube videos,
I don't, I don't, I seriously doubt uh, Gamester81. Out of all the YouTubers out there, I think Gamester81 is probably one of the realest persons, one of the realest people out there, I think, to my opinion. You know, Israel has his opinion, I got my opinion. You know, I think what Israel is trying to say, a fake YouTuber, is somebody that makes an account. And his channel has a run for about like a year or six months, and he, and you know, they, they the person makes uh, a couple of game reviews, a couple of gameplays, a couple of uh, you know, uh, uh, pickup videos, and then they disappear completely. That's a different thing, you know. That's that's a fake YouTuber, you know, in my opinion at least. Um, I don't know. It's it, it it's kind of, it's it's a it's a very thin line. You can't you can't really go around labeling people. Another reason too is I can seem like a cool guy right now in camera, but off camera I can be a total asshole, you know. You never know. Same thing goes, you know, the 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 opposite. You you can seem really like an asshole in camera, but in person you can be really cool. So you you can't really, especially if you don't know the person, like you know personally, you know. Uh, I don't know. That's just something I disagree with there. Uh, then uh, Israel says something about uh, that he has kind of like a problem with Gamester Eighty One making his own video game, and uh, basically. Uh, making a video game about himself and selling it now that's kind of like a you know that's kind of like a you're full of yourself thing to do and I ask myself and I ask you Israel what's the difference between Gamester 81 and uh, the Game Chasers coming out with their DVD you know or uh, OK Chief or Metal Jesus Rocks. They're all making shirts and selling them. What's the difference in that? I think I think you're getting something a little mixed up. And that's the fact that... I'm going to give you an example of what it, what it is to be a, like, you know, a, a sellout. Or somebody that's, you know, uh, trying, to, trying to really... What do you call that? Trying to really um, rip people off for their for their money. Let's see if I happen to make a um, uh, I don't know. Uh, shit. Let me think of an example. All right, I got one. There's YouTubers out there, not from the gaming community, but for for uh, from the fitness world. You know they. They all have their secret way of getting uh, bigger, get more muscle, get more mass. Let's say I have my own fitness channel or whatever, and I came out with a with a with a book on how to get you know uh, how to get big, how to get buff, my secrets, blah blah blah, uh, you know my secrets to get bigger or whatever. It's what my book is called, and I tell all my viewers. The only way for you to purchase this book is if you first get a shirt of mine, and you and you gotta get the shirt, or uh, you know you gotta get the shirt in order to get the book. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't get my shirt, then I won't send you my ebook. That's a sellout right there. I think I think that's that's way different because you're actually using. You you're actually trying to not trick people, but you're trying to you know you're trying to make money while other YouTube channels are doing it for free. You feel me? It's like you know if if I tell you the only way for you to get my book is if you buy my shirt. Send me a picture of yourself wearing my shirt, and I will send you a book. I think that's that's like a little shady. I think that's a you know that's kind of like a sellout. You know, if I if I put my own shirt out there or my own book about my life, 
Let's say I write a, bu a book about my life and I put it out there. And people are interested of knowing uh, about my life. And the book costs a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. You know, it's the it's the person's uh, choice if they want to buy it or not. I'm not sitting there saying if you want to keep watching my videos, you have to buy my book. I think that's a little different than uh, you know than what you mentioned. And uh, I know a couple of YouTubers from the fitness um, community that. I think really are sellouts because you know uh, other people are doing it for free other people really want to help but these people are like nah you know you gotta if you want to keep watching you gotta pay for my stuff now I think that's where you know uh, I think monetizing your videos I think everybody does that you, you know you can only get so much money and if you have a lot of viewers why not you know if you put in a lot of work into your stuff um, Especially with the whole editing part and like time consuming part, if you can get a little something back to help you keep making videos, it's all good, man. Like, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. But I think definitely call him, like, you know, this person fake and this person real. You can't do that. It's like, you know, you have to know the person more than that, more than a YouTube video. Um, I Moving on, I think. Um, Oh, another thing I want to, like, talk about is, uh, I don't use my real name on my YouTube channel, as you can obviously see. But it's funny because, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of creepy thinking about it in a way, but I've actually had, like, three people that wanted to know my address, wanted to know my phone number, and I was like, damn, it's like, I'm a, I'm a man, and you know, people are sitting there trying to like, stalk me and shit, so you know, I'm kind of glad I don't have my personal info, I think, again, that's a personal choice, if you want to, if you want to be, if you want to put your phone number and your address and your uh, full name on your channel, you know, you know, it's, it's whatever, but if you don't, I think, you know, that doesn't make you any less than like, somebody that puts their real name on their channel uh i heard somebody like i i, I saw something on on someone's comment i forgot where that said uh oh i have my name i have my name as uh i have my real name as my youtube channel you know i'm real or i'm real because i have my real name or whatever i'm like really dude like <laughs> you consider yourself real because you have your name as your youtube channel that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's something I don't agree with, like, you know, like, people got their own personal choices, uh, this channel, Nintendo, Co Nintendo Collecting, check their channel out, this guy has probably the biggest collection of Nintendo stuff out there, he has, like, his whole room or basement or whatever is, is full of r rows, he has, like, all the Nintendo Power magazines, he has all the... Uh, all the NES games, all the Super Nintendo games, everything, uh, posters, everything. This man has never shared his name or any. He, I think the only um, the only thing he says is that he's from Canada, and he's never shown his face on video. Does that make him fake for not show him for not showing his uh, his uh, his face or his name? You know, it's 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 just something to think about. You know, before putting people in that category uh another thing uh, he talks about is girls gaming or yeah gaming girls uh some of them come off as attention seeking people again it's a thin line uh i've seen a lot of girls who know a lot about video games probably even more than i do and the thing with uh, girls that are gamers is that uh, it's a double-edged sword also. You know, you have your... There's 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 two things, or I don't even know how to explain it. There's It's a double-edged sword for them because as a girl gamer, you can probably gain more uh, uh, subscribers easily since you're a girl. And, you know, especially if you're pretty, you can get that much many subscribers that fast. But then again, 
you're going to be put into that category that you're probably just, you know, looking for attention and you're doing you're doing this, you know, just so you can get out there. You know, it does bother me whenever I try to see like, you know, uh, not just girls, but like anybody that, you know, just has a channel out for uh for example, for a lot of the dumpster diving channels. They have their channels out for like two months. They do like all these like hype, you know, like I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna do big things and all this, uh, and then like two months later they're gone. So it's like you know, I don't know, like girl gamers. It does bother me whenever I see one that doesn't really know much about video games and she's out there with you know, uh, trying to show her body more than the actual game itself. But you know, it's whatever, man. You can't. It, there's always going to be those types of people out there, uh, whether they're girls or guys. You know, you can sit there and fight, but you're not going to win, man. It's it's crazy, and uh, I think that's it. The the last thing he mentioned or uh, was something about uh, Review Tech USA. I don't know much about the channel, so I can't really speak. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I can't. I'm not gonna give my opinion on something I don't know. So that's it. Uh, that's that's my um, those those are my opinions. Uh, a couple of people wanted to know what my opinions on this video were, so there you go. Um, that's it, guys.